What's up guys, Patrick from Palax here. Today we're going to be doing a review on the two jewel shafts, the Punisher and the Lev. So first things first about the um, jewel as a company. I met them out at World Lax. We had some fun. We did some product testing on a bunch of other shafts. Um, really cool guys. Um, the guy who started it, his name's Jake. He um, I think he lives in San Diego. That's where the company is. So Jake was out making a bunch of, um, <clears throat> he was doing designs for golf companies, for like Callaway golf shafts, things like that. And he thought to himself, dude, we should put these into lacrosse sticks. That'd be perfect. And so with the size difference between a lacrosse stick and a, um, and a golf club, you get these incredibly strong, you know, middle of the, middle of the line weight ratioed um, lacrosse shafts. And they're just totally wicked. So the first thing you're going to notice is, as you're picking them up, is that they're an oval. They're not an octagon shape. They're not the traditional, you know, sided things like this. They're actually an oval. And as you can see there, it's definitely very round. You know, you can kind of see it on the sides there and stuff. But so um, at the head of the shaft where you put the head on, they actually like, I don't know if they sand it down, if they compress it, what they do, but so it'll fit on any, any stick. Um, at first you kind of think, mm, I'm not really sure about this, but once you start picking it up and playing with it, it feels just great. And every time you pull it up, like it'll do the exact same things. Another cool thing I like, and I, I'm not sure if the Punisher does it too much, but the Lev I know does, um, as you're sliding your hand down, you can actually feel it kind of changing shape a little bit as you get near the ends. They get a little, it gets a little bit thicker for the Lev, but so really cool feel. I know right where my hands are at all times. I kind of do on any stick, but in the same sense, it's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so if you can get past that, definitely a good shot for you. Uh, the next big thing, what they're made out of, it's made out of um, carbon fiber, glass, and uh, Kevlar. But it's not the traditional carbon fiber <clears throat> weaving. He explained it to me back at, at World Axe, but I don't really remember exactly what it was. But So rather than using like, you know, I think 10 or 15 layers of this carbon fiber, they actually use like 80 in each shaft. And so it makes them incredibly strong. Um, and you'll see that in the product testing videos that I'll have in a little bit. Um, next, another cool thing that they have integrated into these is a flex point. And I'll show you a couple of cool pictures of them flexing D poles. And it's, it's insane. The shaft like bends like this and then it just goes right back to normal. It's crazy. Um, but uh, so if you can look and see in there, you kind of see the oval shape nearing the back end. If I do it like this, it'll probably be more easier to see. But so right in the middle of that, you'll see that it actually hollows out into an oval and that's where the stick is gonna, is gonna flex for you. And it's pretty cool because it'll be stronger you know, where your hands are, it'll be really stiff here, and then it'll flex a bit in this area right here. So, cool technology. Shooting with it's really cool. You really do feel it, and you feel that little snap at the end of all your shots, and it's, it's definitely a nice feeling. Um, so, now we're getting to the cool part. The cool part is going to be watching all of the other, you know, um, all their product testing videos. And so, they broke all kinds of shafts and I think they went through the new SDX Surgeon, the new um, Dragonfly, Alpha, C12, a bunch of metal ones, I forget exactly which metal ones they had. So another kind of big aspect of these shafts is there's two kinds that you can get. You can get some, so some of them are just kind of regular feel, they feel like regular shafts. Another type, I didn't get any of these, but they have this cool like grip coating on them and the grip coating it, it seems a little sticky if you feel it in your hands once you have a glove on it just feels almost like it's it's got it's taped up already um it's a really cool way i know a bunch of the guys were talking about if you're playing somebody and they have their arm out and you just put your stick there and kind of grind it it'll just grab their skin and irritate their skin i thought that was kind of a cool concept but you can get them in gripped not gripped just wanted you to know so I got the chance to go out and actually play with my Lev um, on last Friday, and <clears throat> I was really surprised at how 
it really wasn't different. It didn't change my gameplay whatsoever. They are middle of the line weighted, and I'm you know I'm pretty good on weight ratio shafts, but so it's not too you know it, it's nice. It, it's in my hand right where I'd want it to. Um, and as far as being like a big critic of it, I really you know the feeling the flex point I think is probably the biggest difference than most traditional uh, sticks. I like to tighten classic for a long, long time. Um, and then just mainly metal it just doesn't flex at all. I know the dragonfly flexes throughout the entire thing. I was throwing around with that thing. You really couldn't feel much of it. But as far as like shooting, getting a lot of power on your shots, you really do feel the flex and the snap of it when you do shoot it. So it definitely gives you a little more power. I'm not really sure how valid all that is, but it seems like it probably is. Um, the next thing is as far as riding, since I usually play attack or midi um, and playing defense, Cross checks are awesome with these things. They, you can tell when you land a good one, you know, right between the pads that they're like, that hurt, you know, that did hurt. And then you can just swing these like they're nothing. Um, a couple big points of difference between the Lev and the Punisher. The Punisher is much thicker. It's a lot thicker. And it's not too much heavier, actually. You know, once you get used to it, it's pretty good. If you watch some of my stick trick videos with Lax All-Stars, all of those videos were done with the Punisher. And if it was too heavy, there's no way that all of my, you know, triples and whatever else I was doing could have been done if it was too heavy. It's, it's definitely a play with its shaft. But as far as I'm concerned, um, Punisher for deep hole, especially if you're a strong deep hole, um, Lev if not, you know, Lev, if, if you don't have really huge checks, go with the Lev. Um, but the Punisher for a box shaft is like the epitome of what a box shaft should be. It's extremely strong. Um, as far as flexing, I know it's a little less flexible than the Lev because it's got more material in it, but <clears throat> you're never going to break this thing. And that's kind of what they tell you. They say, if you break it and we tell that you broke it playing the cross, we'll give you a new one for life. No, life. Yeah, they said life. Lifetime warranty on this thing. Lifetime. Lifetime. Send, you know, you break this plane, send it in. I doubt you're going to break it, though. And here is why. few of the testing videos um i think they were all done with the punisher shaft so the stronger one but same technology goes into them i'm pretty sure it's like a i want to say 80 to 100 ratio as far as like the lev is like 80 percent of the punisher um same technology same strength regardless you're going to get a lifetime warranty if you get one um one thing you'll notice is in a couple of the videos they you know, say they even had the Punisher down and they hit the Punisher. When they put it up, the stick was broken. That's kind of the thing that a lot of people I don't think get, is the stick really just broke in half. And you could have just folded it if you wanted to, but I guess hitting it again and watching the end of the shaft fall off was good. Um, and a couple of the other ones, they swung through with the Punisher. Either way it works, it's, it's, it's just a stronger material. The way they make it is just stronger. It may have some of the same elements as some of the carbon fiber shafts, but the way they put it together and the whole background that they got from, what is it, um, AD Group Composites, it's really next level stuff. This is the stuff that people will start wanting to use in the future. Um, <clears throat> lastly, uh, if you want to buy one, you want to get one for yourself, I'll put the the um, website in the description and um, let me know what you thought my first review I don't think I'll be doing many reviews I may you never know I think review Wednesday sounds kind of cool just because the W's you know they line up together um, and then remember to subscribe like follow me on Instagram 
And if you have any comments, questions, feel free to hit me up whenever you want. Have a good day.